second of water, roar out of the bottom of the dam, hit the upper Dolly River at 60 miles an hour, and race on downstream through a series of incredible class five rapids. All right, this is the man, the myth, the legend, our trip leader, Squirrel. How's it going today? Hey, it's pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. There it is. It's going to get go. him down. All right. And here's John. John, what do you got to say today? I'm scared. I don't blame you, man. Mitch, please. All right, they're psyched to have a good time. All right, we're looking underneath the baseball cap. This is Artie. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? All right. And here's this crew. How are you all doing today? Yeah? Everybody pretty fired up? Yeah. All right, everybody got their last will and testament all in, you know, all in good order, everything, life insurance, policies up. Well, you guys have a good trip. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we are at the put in. This is Mitch's crew with John. Fresh out of New York. They're ready to go. They're going to get it all forward. Let's see how they take this. Maybe I was a goner there for a minute, actually. That was the most scared time of my life. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die, and I thought you were gonna die, and I thought we were all gonna be swept out and fished in and carried away in a body bag. I was under, and I swear it was the scariest thing ever happened. Last but not least, our trip leader Squirrel's coming down with his three boat. He looks like he's missing people, but actually he's just got three people in his boat. All right, well, we 
saw how significant this rapid could be. Oh, we still take a little piece of the rock. Everybody stays in, though. All right, they're backing it up. Looks like this crew, despite their small size, has got some power. All right. And here they go right on by me for an excellent run. Good job, you guys. insignificant. How's it going? How was it? Awesome. Was it awesome? Awesome. You gonna tell your grandkids about it? <laughs> There's another one. Found himself in the eddy. They're gonna begin the walk downstream to find their boats. As for us, we're gonna head on down for some more fun. We'll see you at Pillar Rock. I went in, in the beginning and I swam the whole river. I lost my glasses. I hit rocks, hit my elbow, hit my knee. I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die. My friend Kenny was swimming by me. Hi, Kenny. And went, no, no, over there. Well, you're not Kenny. Kenny over there. He swam too. And out of the top of my lungs, with all my breath, I yelled out, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> That's as loud as I could yell. I could hear you. Help me. I was in the boat. I'm a witness. I saw the whole thing. The government's to blame. It wasn't fun. No, it was horrible. I will thought my it. best friend was taking his last breath. I was I was frightened for him. He started giving him mouth. I felt. I tell you, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about jumping in. <laughs> I was there. The road was great. I'll tell you, there was a hero on the boat. There was a guy pulling people in. I was trying my best. I, I did everything I could. All right. We had we a made, choice. We, we had one it. choice, though. We had one choice. Mitch or Vinny? We just went for Mitch. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Pillow Rock. Watching every single bit of water in this river slam off of this huge rock off the left shore. Directly below that, we have Volkswagen lurking, hoping to flip boats. We've had a little carnage today already, so let's see what Pillow Rock does to us. All right, and there comes John and his bow riders. Woo! All right, they took a hammering off that one. But they seem to have it all together, and they're psyched about their run. Nice going, guys. All right. Oh, hard hitting that top hole. Here comes Artie. Let's see how his raft takes it. High up off the pillow. Oh, beautiful run for Artie there. Nice going, guys. Big hit there for Mike and his crew. They're driving hard for the pillow. Let's see what happens. Woo, they kiss it, bounce off, turn around, come back, and they're going to glide over Volkswagen. Oh. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Go, Swacker. Go, Swacker. Go, better Swacker. Woo. Well, that's it for uh, Pillow Rock. We're going to take one last look at this pillow. Watch this kayaker come through, and then we'll see you on down at Lost Paddle.
going down it's very quietly, down. calm, everything's fine, a couple of yucks, managed to get the front of the raft for the most exciting part of the ride. The raft went left, I went left, the raft went right, and I was in the water and didn't come back up for, it seemed like eternity. And then I got drug out, literally. Sands the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm glad I had that wetsuit on because my legs were scraping along rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I was thrown out. <laughs> I was sitting in the front of the boat, front left. Uh, we went over this rapid or whatever, and uh, next thing I know, I got sucked out of the boat, man. I was under the boat. And next thing I knew, I was bobbing down river. Yeah, trying to swim. I was just getting, just getting pushed under and pushed under, and I was just concentrating on trying to get a breath, get some air. I popped up a couple of times, <laughs> looking for air. And then that guy came by in a kayak. I think his name was Mike. John knows who he is. Some guy, some guy in a kayak came over and uh, hit him, and I hooked on to him, and he towed me over to another boat. Yeah, man, because I was spent. And then he pulls me over to this boat, and you should have seen the faces of the people when I when I they pulled me in the boat. I'm like hanging on the side. They said they said you were like totally white. And I said, and I'm like, I can't pull myself in, man. You guys are gonna have to, you know. And they're looking at you. You can tell when people are looking at you, like you know, you got another eyeball or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and they're looking at me, and I'm, going, and I'm sitting there, and they're going, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm going, holy shit, man, I, at least I'm in the Four boat limbs, now, you know? I got my nose. Holy my shit, is man. Yeah, that's it was good. incredible. It was totally bizarre. But, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to drown. <laughs> you know? I'm cool. So from now on, after that, every time I got to us, I looked for that, that strap on the side of the boat. But I tell you, that one was scary. Everybody was bobbing around. I, there was a bunch of people bobbing through. And then when I was getting to my boat, after that guy towed me over, I saw them pulling this limp guy out of the river. <laughs> that was Mitch. <laughs> I'm making chance. I'll tell you, this is my story. I, I, uh, I too, went in on Insignificant. And uh, I, I really don't know what happened. I don't even remember if I was in the front of the boat or the end of the boat. All I know is that I was out of the boat. And I remember from two years ago when I had friends that fell in the boat and I watched them, I knew where they went under and got sucked under for a while, right? So anyway, I was under, and I swear it was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. Mike was there. Oh, it was horrible. He, uh, I, I was like, I couldn't catch my breath, and I knew that I had to survive. And I, I'm not kidding around now when I say that I was there on the boat, and I saw Mitch give up. I saw Mitch just say, OK, if you're going to take me, take me. Well, this was at the end of the rapid. I was in All calm in water. Oh, dude, we're talking about he looked like a piece of uh, clothing in the, in the rinse cycle. At the end of my run, I was thanking anyone that I was alive. And all I, had, all I could do was put up my hand like this. Someone grabbed me the oar, and they just hoisted me in the boat backwards. Was... I couldn't move. I, it was the scariest thing that I've ever been through that I can remember. I was underneath the, so long, I thought I saw some Harry Krishnas. It was frightening. <laughs> Tell them about when you went in. Oh, I went in. Boat hit a rod <laughs> on purpose. I didn't sign the liability for that, pal. Went backwards, went into a hole. Next thing I know, I'm under. I'm getting sucked under, kicked under, pushed under. I come up and I'm not the lightest man in the world here. And I'm sinking. And this damn friggin' life preserver isn't helping me. I finally get back up, I claw my way to the top, if you can imagine that, which of course you well know. Yes. Then I claw my way to the top. I'm so tired from beating the fucking undercurrents to get back to the top to breathe that the next thing I know, people are giggling. Yeah. It's a joke yeah. to them. Yeah. My life is worth nothing but a cheap laugh. And I'll tell you, you look at the size of this guy right here, that's a big hole to oh. hold on to a boat. You know oh. what I'm I felt like a tuna being pulled up. That's a major, that's a major oh. catch right there. Oh. A major catch. Oh. Now let's get on to something really, the most frightening thing I did this whole weekend was that port of sand up there on the left. That was the most disgusting thing. There comes another success story from the port of sand. <laughs> Which is worse, the river or the port of sand? <laughs> I choose the river. <laughs> All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen would, jump rocks. Jump rocks, jump rocks. Jump this thing. All right. Yes, sir, you fired up? All right. You got to move your ass out of the way. That's great. Right. I had a good distance on that one. Nice canopy. All right, to the boat. A couple last victims. All right. Later for you. Good job. This is the cliff. All right, here he is. Here's the man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Funny people here to rescue us. Oh, beautiful. Fight, 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 fight! Woo! Hey! All right. Hey, go, go. Woo! Last but not least. Last but not least. Go, go, go. Any last words? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> we had a ball there. That was a definite ball. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, uh, that's it for all the action here at Jump Rocks. We're going to head on downstream for some more fun in Whitewater. We'll see you at Woods Ferry. <laughs> oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. An introduction to the meanest lady on the river, Julie's Juicer, right there here at the bottom of Woods Ferry Rapid. All right, hard to miss these guys. This is uh, Artie, his crew with the bow, Superman bow rider. Check him out. Oh, they smashed that hole. Now let's see how they take the juicer. They're coming up. They're flirting with her. Let's see what happens. Could be deadly. Oh, but they escaped her grips. Hi there. I'm a slacker. You better paddle. Out. Insignificant? Yeah, insignificant. That was it. And the boat went over, and uh, I think it was Vinny came down, and uh, he was knocking me off the boat, and right there was the rapid I was getting sucked into. So the boat was up on its edge, or what? Yeah, up on its edge, and uh, I flipped backwards, and uh, someone came into me, and then I tried grabbing a boat, and I, I just went under, and I got sucked out in like a second. You know, you never think of it before you come on these type of vacations that, you know, hey, maybe you could die or wipe out or something. But uh, going under that water, it was like trying to grasp for air. And uh, it was coming in so fast that I was losing breath. And uh, I thought maybe I was a goner there for a minute, actually. And. Uh, then I came into a calmer part of the water and I just swam for sure. And I got up on a rock and I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> and that was about it. And then uh, the boat came down, we got picked up and uh, we went on our journey. The rest of the way, Charlton Stone, we're party. <laughs> okay, well, I started on one boat, on Neil's boat, and then we switched over to Mitch's boat. Right. As uh, the new tour guide said, we're gonna go on a tour called West 
called insignificant. <laughs> well, insignificant seems pretty significant to me, but we hit the insignificant about two seconds later, I was out of the boat. Uh -huh. And they said, the reaction time you have is about two seconds, and if you don't have it, you can forget about it. Well, as second three went by, <laughs> I found myself getting taken into insignificance, major rockage. And man, was that scary. After I hit the first rock and bruised my leg, I said, ah, it'll be over soon. And the water kept on trudging me under. Thank God that lifeguard, that life jacket was there, saved my life. I'm still shaking up from it. <laughs> I got out of the water hyperventilating, and uh, then they finally threw me the rope, which they'll never do unless it's a major, major problem. As I got out of the boat, <gasps> I couldn't breathe. I said, this is it. I'm done. No more partying, and I'm, I'm taking the back seat on the bus. <laughs> that was the most scared time of my life. I thought I was going to die, and I can't talk about it. Hi, my name's Steve. I'm meeting Steve. Awesome. 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 There's many of the men we pick on all the time. I'm gonna eat three quarters of this, take the other half and see if I can hit him in the head. Move it off. We're having a great time up here. We've got a great time. Rep, Rep, boy. Camera shot. Mike, Scrappy, Russell. Here it comes. I got some man who got fixed by the car, bro. What's his story? This is going to go, right? Your roommate over there. Reese? And, and, and Charlie, they just came out of the Fort Sands. They came out of Reese couldn't handle it. Oh, he starts puking. Aha! Relentlessly puking. Really? Reese! Reese, you puked! I am drinking beer. You tell me your nickname at home, I'll drink one with you. Stink. Hey! hey! Alright, give me a beer, I owe you one. <laughs> get me a beer, I owe you one. Donnie. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mikey. Hey. Yo, morning, morning, morning. Hey. Yeah. I guess this will, this will be just another day on the river. I pulled two of you guys out of the clutches of the river, saved their lives yesterday. For me, just a casual kind of day on the river. So. It's a thankless job, right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody even brought me a beer last night for it. Oh, man. Guess he drank it all up. That's on film. Drink it. On film, you can't deny it. You know, there's a uh, law in West Virginia now that now that he's drinking beer and he has alcohol in his system, we can do anything we want to. <laughs> you can try. Even make him whole. We like a pretty word spoken on dry land. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to remember somebody going, help me, help, help me. me. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. That's where they're wrong. I didn't have enough energy to speak at all. That's where they're wrong. I was using hand signals. Help. Frantic fingers. It was your eyes. No. Help me, help me, please. Squirrel, pull me in, pull me in. Pull me in first, squirrel. Pull me in first, squirrel. Ah, uh, what a push. Way to make me sick. How to take a dump in the woods by the chuckster. This is how to take a shit in the woods. Take your pants down, sit like that, take a shit, walk away, wipe your ass, and split. And it's as easy as that. Inside the condo is Neil. Neil, we want to know about your life-threatening story yesterday. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Let's see. All I remember from the life-threatening story was, and this was at a, insignificant, by the way, was our guy John saying, yeah, we, we can't get caught up in this hole. And the last thing I remember was John saying, well, we're fucked, everybody for himself. <laughs> so we went into this hole, and I was face down in the water on the up upriver side. And uh, my legs were caught in the boat, and I was getting sucked under. So I ripped my legs out of the boat, and I just went, plunged in there head first. Kind of did a flip under the water, I think, and floated on down, and kind of swam to the side, and watched a couple people float past me, tried to reach out. Nothing I could do. <laughs> they were on their own. <laughs> so I kind of went kind of crazy, smashed my foot, got it wedged in between some rocks, ripped it out of there. Uh, what happened after that? Swam to the side and uh, survived. I survived. I was a survivor. Yeah, but you didn't go all the way down. 
Barely. You had to go all the way. Barely. How was it all the you way? Got, oh, it was awesome. It was a great ride going all the way down. <laughs> you got fished out the early part. Fished myself out of hell. Joe. Uh, Mitch. The man's face that I saw, Mitch. close to death. Tell us about that, Joe. Uh, when I saw Mitch come out of that water, he was mesmerized. He was so happy to see life again. He was amazing. He was amazing. Uh, it was a thrill. It was a thrill going down that rapid. And uh, I was on the right, front right uh, of the raft. And all of a sudden, you see this steep, steep drop. You see everybody flying around you, and you're the only one practically on the boat. And then the best thing is when you're recovering your friends out of the deep water, and you see them smile and taking those deep breaths again. Everybody is all psyched out getting to those other rapids. It was amazing. It was amazing. And uh, one other thing, try the Bronco ra uh, rafting rapids. Where you sit on the front of the raft. And, you, and everybody's sitting in the back. And when you're sitting there and you're holding on a little hook and you're top, on top of that raft and you see these rafts, man, and you're jumping five, 10 feet up in the air. It's, it's a thrill, it's a thrill, it's amazing. Everybody should do this, everybody should do this. You gonna come back next year? Definitely, definitely. If I'm invited, I'll be back here. You're invited, you're invited. Thank you, Mitch, thank you. All right, this is what it's all about, man. This is the carnage that's gonna really make it happen. We had a great trip. We're heading down to the last before we get out of the river. Two days on this river, three days camping out. I suggest this to anybody that wants to come. Excellent white water rafting. The Gauley River, man. When you get here, ask for Zach to film you. He's the best. Thanks a lot, Zach. Yep. You did it, baby. <laughs> Oh, hey, 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 hey,